the middle of the NFL season, so why not? Let's make a 2017 NFL mock draft. You're watching the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. take on sports fan entertainment it is post week eight of the nfl season we are in mid-season so why not make a mid-season nfl mock draft i'm bored so why not let's do it and you know let me tell you this i have not evaluated a lot of these players so pretty much after the top let's say 16 it's very sketchy it's very iffy and it's not just me i see big board after big board you know prospect rankings after prospect rankings there's so much you know differing as uh, rankings there you know people have some guys ranked 13 on one big board and then on the next big board they'll be at 40 the next big board they'll be at 75 so i think no one really understands when no one's really evaluating these prospects yet and uh, you know a lot of these nfl teams all these rumors you hear by players haven't really came out yet some of them have some of them have been trickling out trickling down but you know not a lot of them have been coming out yet so when they do we'll have a better feel but until then yeah the bottom 16 they're pretty sketchy i'm just going to be honest with you right now so let's move on uh full mock draft down in the description box below let's discuss number one cleveland brown and I have them taking Miles Garrett. And look, I understand they need a quarterback. Oh, they need a quarterback so bad. But I think the move here is to take Miles Garrett. I think this guy is absolutely phenomenal. I think this guy has the potential. Uh, one of the highest potentials I've seen to make the Hall of Fame. He may go down as my best prospect that I've ever graded. I think he's better than Jadavian Clowney. I don't think it's close. He has the effort that Jadavian Clowney did not have. And he has all of the talent that Jadavian Clowney had. Maybe a just a little bit less, but man, I, I think it's there. I think Miles Garrett is phenomenal. He has the personality too. Uh, he's not like a very boisterous guy, but in just terms of being a humble guy, hardworking guy, the guy is fantastic. I don't think the Browns can afford to reach on a quarterback and miss out on Miles Garrett. To me, if Miles Garrett is available, I'm taking this guy. He's going to make the Pro Bowl for years. He could make the Hall of Fame. The guy's fantastic. And then we're going to take a quarterback with our next pick. That's what I'm doing. If I'm Cleveland, we're going to see what they end up doing. I think that should be the move. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Number two, San Francisco 49ers. I have them taking Deshaun Kaiser out of Notre Dame. So they have another decision here. Will they take, will they reach on a quarterback or will they take someone of value a Jonathan Allen or Leonard Fournette both of those possible Leonard Fournette not as much because you get the feeling they still like Carlos Hyde although I don't you know there's a guy that still is only averaging 3.9 yards per carry I mean Leonard Fournette's gonna average four and a half every single year he's in the league so they're they could take Leonard Fournette but I think they're gonna go with a quarterback I think they need a quarterback I think they feel they need a quarterback and they'll take Deshaun Kaiser to me now we'll see who solidifies himself as the number one quarterback in the this class right now you're dealing with Deshaun Kaiser you're also dealing with Mitch Trubisky Mitch Trubisky you're also dealing with Deshaun Watson and Brad Kaya all vying for the top quarterback role. We don't know who's in that spot right now. I'm going with Deshaun Kaiser. I think teams are going to fall in love with his arm strength, with his personality, great personality, great you know quarterback leader, smart guy. I think they're going to fall in love with him. I think he's definitely going to go in the top 10 picks. I think definitely, unless if he just falls off a cliff, which he's been doing lately. Um, the question is, will he go first? I think he will. Not first of all, but be the first quarterback taken. Number three, Chicago Bears, they take quarterback Mitch Trubisky out of North Carolina. I have not evaluated this guy. I don't know if he's a fraud. I don't know if he's legit, but Mel Kuyper said today that he is the number one quarterback on his big board. And by the way, that's BS uh, because Mel Kuyper's big board has always been BS that I've seen. He's very influenced by the outside sources. Um, you know, he, he changes his big board the day before the draft. Why would you do that? You do that because you heard, oh, this guy's going higher and he wants his big board to reflect where people are going like he had Jack Conklin ranked low teens and then before the draft the day before the draft he was ranked number eight on his big board why because he heard oh Jake Jack Conklin is going to go a top 10 he said okay let me change my big board that way my big board doesn't look that inaccurate so I don't trust Mel Kuyper but I trust him saying okay I'm hearing that uh, Mr. Trubisky's you know in the uh I guess in the high claims or you know the high I, I don't know 
know what word I'm looking for, but I, I think he hears that NFL teams are liking Mr. Bisky right now. So I think Mr. Bisky, okay, I'm buying into his stock. I haven't watched him yet. I'll see if I like him or not, and then I'll reflect my big board, uh, you know, reflectively of that. We'll see. We move on to Jacksonville Jaguars. They take Jonathan Allen out of Alabama. Huge decision here. Will you take Leonard Fournette or will you take Jonathan Allen? Now, Leonard Fournette will ease the pressure off of Blake Bortles. Jonathan Allen will be a great player. Who's a better prospect? It's close. I like Leonard Fournette. Uh, we'll see who they like. Huge decision here. Someone's going to make the decision. It may not be them. Maybe they'll win more games and they'll be out of this frame. But someone's got to make this decision. It's not going to be an easy decision to make. But I went with this just for continuity's sake because I, if I would have not if I would have not put Jonathan Allen here I wouldn't have had him until pick number seven and there was no way he was going to fall that far to me so I went ahead and I put him number four to Jacksonville number five Carolina Panthers they take Leonard Fournette and man this would be scary to have Cam Newton and Leonard Fournette just killing defenses out here out I'm getting bruises I'm getting just nightmares thinking about ooh, if Leonard Fournette just barrels me down and then Cam Newton comes right after me too and this big offensive line with Trey Turner and Michael Orr and Ryan Khalil and Andrew Norwell, man, that'd be bad. And I think that's what they're going to look for. That's what I'd look for if I was a Carolina Panthers. But I don't think they're going to be I don't, oh, sorry. I don't think they're going to be picking this high. That's the problem right now for the Carolina Panthers. I, I guess it's a good thing because you want to win games right now. But if they are, they're taking him and it's going to hurt. Uh, we move on to New York Jets. I have them passing on a quarterback here. I have them taking Jabril Peppers. I think they need to develop an identity defensively again. I think they've lost it. Sheldon Richardson, to me, is out of place at outside linebacker, but he's not going anywhere yet. And I think he's actually a free agent coming up. I need to check on that. But anyway, uh, we'll see who they take here. I think Jabril Peppers, though, would be the best player on the board, and they just go with him. Cam Robinson, also a possibility here. Number seven, the Colts take Cam Robinson. They need more protection for Andrew Luck. They get it here some people oh excuse me some people believe that cam robinson is a little overrated he's not going to go this high look I, I saw him play very well against miles garrett he has his issues but i still think he's going to go very high he's the best tackle in this class it's not even close so if a team's in need of a tackle they're going to take him they're going to look back so to me cam robinson goes this high number eight san diego chargers take malik mcdowell out of michigan state great player and this would be a great pick here for the san diego chargers help the defensive front joey bosa malik mcdowell melvin Ingram, you're starting to see this developing uh, defensive front for the San Diego Chargers team, and it would be scary, man, indeed. Number nine, Baltimore Ravens take Dalvin Cook. Help spark their offense. And, man, you know, Joe Flacco's not playing well. I mean, he's playing, I think, t bottom five uh, as a quarterback right now. But I think Dalvin Cook would help him a lot, help spark this run game, take the pressure off Joe Flacco to have to throw it on almost every third down and help this team ultimately to get back to where they need to be and they need to be in the playoffs they need to be. I like John Harbaugh a lot, but, man, it's starting to not look very good for John Harbaugh. I think one more year, if they miss the playoffs next year, I think he's in big big trouble we move on to the Tennessee Titans my Tennessee Titans as they take T's Tabor out of Florida and you know, right now it's very hard to decide who's the best cornerback in this class you have T's Tabor you have Quincy Wilson you have Marlon Humphrey you have Adoree Jackson you have a bunch of guys here no one really knows who's the best right now Desmond King as well we'll see who solidifies himself as number one but for right now I think it's T's Tabor he's a little bit of a head case but man he's talented I'm going to the Tennessee Titans. So, again, the rest of the mock draft is down in the description box below. Go ahead, look at it, comment it. Right now, I'm just going to go through the significant picks that I think. And right now, Tennessee Titans, they have another pick. You know, the 10th pick is hosted by the uh, L.A. Rams. You know, they, they have that pick. They traded, you know, for the number one draft pick last year. So, the Titans had that pick. The 16th pick, which is their own pick, I have them taking Corey Davis, who I believe to be the best wide receiver in this class. I know a lot of people like Mike Williams, and I want to like him too. You know, I want the Titans to have a legitimate number one wide receiver in this draft class. But, man, he just misses on too many 50-50 balls to me inconsistent hands the upside is there and he can develop like DeAndre Hopkins did and DeAndre Hopkins is very similar to Mike Williams to be honest uh, but as a prospect I just can't put him higher than maybe 15 on my big board we'll see how it shakes out but I just can't do it right now we move on <clears throat> this will be a very interesting pick 
Christian McCaffrey going to the Green Bay Packers, man, this would be scary. You know, give Aaron Rodgers a legitimate running back. Man, they'd be the whitest team in the NFL, but man, they'd be good. You know, Clay Matthews, Christian McCaffrey, and Aaron Rodgers. Uh, so that'd be interesting. We'll see if that actually takes fold. And also... I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the most significant stuff. Oh, and I have Juju Smith-Schuster falling all the way down to number 30. Foot of the Eagles pick him up with the Minnesota Vikings pick. And, you know, ultimately, you know, he's a guy that a lot of people don't like. He's a USC wide receiver. I don't care where he went to school. Guys, these are just guys going to school. You know, if you would have listened to the idiot saying, Oregon quarterback suck, Marcus Mariota wouldn't have been drafted. And look how good he is now. Don't care. I don't care where what school these players come from. I just want to know if they're good. And I think Juju Smith is a little bit underrated now. I don't think that he's great, but I think he's actually a 20 guy, maybe a top 20 guy, very fringe 20 guy. So to me, this would be a great pick for the Eagles, and I have him falling down all the way to them. So there you go. Again, full mock draft, full 2017 NFL mock draft can be found down in the description box below. Tell me your thoughts on it. Again, don't take it too seriously, dog. We are months away from this draft. I don't know who's going where. This is just what I'm feeling right now, so don't take it too seriously. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, and most importantly, to subscribe. And until next time, this has been the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment, and I'm out. Peace.